Kamikaze pilots were Japanese aviators in World War II who carried out suicide missions, deliberately crashing into enemy ships. Their attacks caused destruction, but also reflected Japan's desperation in the final stages of the war. All assets and project files in this video are available on my Patreon, the link in the description. For the first line, I'm going to start with a simple photo of the Kamikaze pilots. Now I'm just going to duplicate that photo and place the copy above the original one and remove the background. So we're left only with the pilots. Now drag that text layer in between the original photo and the cutout layer. For this, I'm using Gothic League Extra Bold, which fits perfectly with the wartime theme. Under Character Spacing, set it to 9. Let's give the text some animation. Pick Randomizer and set the duration to 1 second. Now I'm going to add a photo of a kamikaze plane for the next clip. Split this pilot layer into two because I'm going to apply a different scale for it. Let's add a red circle overlay on top of the split layer and position it over one of their faces. Change the blend mode to screen. Duplicate the red circle to apply it on the aircraft photo as well. Now compound every layers of each clip. Now, let's add a bit of zoom in motion using keyframe to every clip. For the second clip I'm going to start it already zoomed in a little closer, so I'm setting this to 171% scale. Let's move on to the third clip. So, it's going to look like this. The pilots were Japanese aviators in World War II. Who? For this line, I'm going to switch things up and use some real footage of kamikaze attacks from World War II. First thing, mute the audio so it doesn't clash with your music later. Now, I'm going to trim the video so it starts right when the plane is approaching the ship. Then cut it again to include the moment of impact. This keeps the pacing tight. Deliberately crashing into enemy ships. Let's trim the footage ends here. Once that's ready, add a film roll overlay on top. Change the blend mode to multiply. Now just adjust and position your footage so it fits nicely inside the film roll frame. Once it sits perfectly, it'll look like vintage war archive footage. Who carried out suicide missions, deliberately crashing into enemy ship. Alright, for this line I'm gonna go for a more dramatic composition. Start by importing this photo, drop it into the timeline and scale it up to fill the whole frame. Then, I'm going to add some zoom in motion just like what we did before. So, it's going to look like this. Now import the newspaper overlay. This one's about the kamikaze attacks then lower its saturation so it's black and white. 
Go to the curve adjustment and invert the luminance curve so the lights and darks flip. Next, change the blend mode to screen. This will let the text shine through. And here I'm going to position the newspaper to the words that want to be highlighted. Now I'll lower the exposure on the soldier layer underneath, just so the text from the newspaper becomes more readable. Split the newspaper overlay into three parts, because there are three sections of the newspaper that I want to highlight. And now we just have to add some motions to each of the parts using keyframes. Let's highlight another words. So, it's gonna look like this. Axe caused destruction, but also reflected Japan's death. Aspiration. For the last line, I'm gonna bring back the same kamikaze footage from before. And I'm gonna trim it to the section, where the plane is flying closer and then starts to dive. This shot perfectly closes the sequence. So, it's gonna look like this. Aspiration in the final stages of the war. Now that all our clips are in place, let's polish everything up and give it that cinematic touch. Add the hazy effect above the second clip in line 1. To make it more focused, the photo of this pilot. Set the blur to around 47%. It softens the image nicely. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese. Next, add the faulty cassette effect for the whole duration of the video. Stretch it all the way across and set the speed to 19%. That'll add a subtle VHS style distortion. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese aviators in World War II who carried out suicide missions, deliberately crashing into enemy ships. Their attacks caused destruction, but also reflected Japan's desperation in the final stages. Then add chromatic effect. also for the full video. But keep its speed at zero for just a bit of color separation. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese aviators in World War II who carried out suicide missions, deliberately crashing into enemy ships. Their attacks caused destruction, but also reflected Japan's desperation in the final stages of the war. Now, between clip two and clip three, add the Blanche transition. Japanese aviators in and set the duration to 0.4 second. These aviators in World War II who aviators in World War II who carried out then I'm gonna add floodlight transition between line 3 and line 4. But first, let's compound all the layers of the line 5 and drop the transition between them. Their attacks cause destruction. Do the same for the last line in the final stages of the war. Let's also add black bars to make it look like a film. Import a solid black overlay. Go to mask. Gives film strip. Enable reverse and adjust the size to your preference. So, it's gonna look like this. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese aviators in World War II who carried out suicide missions deliberately crashing into enemy ships. Their attacks caused destruction, but also reflected Japan's desperation in the final stages of the war. 
Finally, go to modify and change the frame rate to 24 FPS, that'll give it that cinematic motion you see in movies. Alright, now let's talk about sound design, because this is what really makes the edit come alive. So, first, here I'm gonna add a war themed background track. If you want to download the music from a music library that I use, I put the link in the description. I'm using a stem file format so I can separate all the instrument in this music. Let's put all of them into the timeline. I think the volume is too high, so let's tune it down a little bit. Make sure that you can hear the narration voice clearly. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese aviators in World War II who carried out suicide missions, deliberately crashing into enemy ships. Alright, now let's trim and compound them. Then, I'm gonna add some sound effects. Here I'm gonna add a sound effect for the inanimation of the text. A sound effect that I'm adding here is a sound of camera shutter. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese. Okay, I think it sounds good. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese aviators. For the next sound effect, I'm going to use a little part of this camera shutter and apply it to the transition. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese aviators in World War II. Who okay, perfect. Now I'm going to apply a sound effect for the plane footage. This is a sound of Stuka Siren in World War II. I think I'm gonna use this part. So, let's trim it. We carried out suicide missions. Deliberately Tune the volume down a little bit. Then increase the fade in and fade out for smooth entrance. And now, for the moment where the plane explode, I'm gonna add an explosion sound effect. Okay, this is good. Now, let's add a sound effect for the next transition. What I'm adding here is another variation of camera shutter. And enemy ships. Their attacks caused destruction, but also reflected Japan. Let's use a part of this sound effect for the last transition. Their attacks caused destruction but also reflected Japan's desperation in the final stage. All right, now for the last plane footage. I'm gonna use the same Stuka siren from the last one, but at another part of it. So just duplicate it and adjust it to the part that you want. In the final stages of the war. Final stages of the war. All right, and here is the final result. Kamikaze pilots were Japanese aviators in World War II who carried out suicide missions, deliberately crashing into enemy ships. Their attacks caused destruction, but also reflected Japan's desperation in the final stages of the war. Alright guys, that's the tutorial for today. I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching, and thanks to my Patreon for supporting this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.